Hello, welcome to Cycling Tips, Dave here, and welcome to the new studio. Honestly, it's not the corner of my living room. Anyway, let's crack on with the first video. One, which we've been hanging on to for a little while, waiting for the late kids to school, shall we say, because we are going to look at the new kits of 2020. Well, not just the men's peloton, but also the women's. I'm not going to go through all of them because, well, some of them haven't changed, have they? It's just not worth it. But we're going to look at the good, the bad, the ugly, the grim, the great. Who's looking fresh? Who's not looking so fresh? And I'll have a look at some of the sponsors who have changed the bikes, the kit. So without further ado, let's crack on. First up, a team who was bright and breezy with releasing their kit. AG2R. These guys, well, they've definitely changed. The team has definitely had a shake-up, not just in the roster with Greg Van Avermaet, for instance, coming across, Bardet leaving, but they've changed the kit a heck of a lot. And bike sponsor, helmet sponsor, you name it, they've had a real shake-up. The kit, well, it's a love or love situation. It does look a little bit like they've got a sash from a beauty pageant strapped across their shoulder. Gotta say though, the recent photos of Greg Van Avermaet and the rest of the team out training in the northern cobbles of Belgium and France look pretty fresh in it. It looks good dirty. Oh, and if you check this photo out, it looks like they might be testing out some new Pirelli tyres. That's our guess at least. Bikes this year are BMC. Gone is the Eddie Merckx or rebadged Ridley, however you want to look at it. In comes a group set that you don't usually see on BMC. Campagnolo, Campagnolo, however you want to say it. As for up top, keeping their air in place, unlike me, is HJC helmets. Previously, we only saw these helmets on the Lotto Sudal team. Oh, and also the Rockin' Smith Sunnies, a brand we've not seen in the peloton for a long, long time. All in all, it's a big shake-up for AG to our Citroen Le Mondial, or Le Mondial Citroen AG. Whatever, they got Citroen on board. Next up, another team who's looking a bit fresher, shall we say. Israel Startup Nation. Now, with no frooms gone across, Mike Woods and a bunch of other riders to strengthen the roster for 2021. And, well, they're looking a lot better. Gone is that kit that apparently was a little bit too um, visible if you were sat behind them, which was made by Katusha. Instead, they've got some brand I've never heard of, Jenga, Jenga, will it fall down while they're riding? Well, we'll find out. They're another team that have got HJC helmets and bike sponsors is unchanged with Factor still supplying. Next up, two teams who I think we might be getting muddled up when um, the racing gets going and that is Bora and Bike Exchange. Now, Bike Exchange has dropped the Mitchelton from their jersey and gone for another Jerry Ryan brand, Bike Exchange. They've also swapped bikes, going from Scott over to Bianchi. Bianchi, Bianchi. They've got new lids as well. Gone is obviously the Scott helmets that they were using. And in comes Giro. They're also wearing Seacon glasses because, well, they had their massive Scott ones before. Belgian team to coin it quick steps definitely looking a lot fresher this year. Gone is that jersey that kind of on occasions look like bib and braces and in comes a really nicely patterned blue thing. Hey, good to have Cav back on the team as well. Oh, and when talking about the coin it quick step, we cannot not talk about Alaphilippe, the world champion who, well, hopefully keeps the world champs jersey stripes up the right way in 2021. Two teams that have had a slight update of their jerseys for 2021 is Francis Dejour, no, Group Armour Francis Dejour and Jumbo Visma. If you didn't look closely, you wouldn't notice. Though there is a new bike sponsor. Cervelo have jumped ship from Sunweb, which is now DSM, and moved over to the Dutch team. Talking about DSM Sunweb, they have got a new kit as well and a new sponsor. They are on Scott Bikes for 2021, Scott Helmet and will have got out of wearing their massive sunglasses and stuck with rocker sunnies. One team that we've definitely got to give a bit of kudos to is UAE Emirates. Usually their kit looks like it's been designed on Windows Vista version of Microsoft Paint, but for 2021 it's looking pretty damn good. 
and instead of it being made by Champ System like it has for the previous few years, it is now made by Spanish brand Gobic. You might not have heard of them, but they are growing very, very quickly and make some nice stuff. Next up, Bahrain McLaren has changed her, well, a questionable sponsor name of Bahrain Victorious. We'll see about that. Gone is McLaren, and with it gone is the British brand of Lacol who made the kit last year. In steps, Italian powerhouse of kit manufacturing, Nalini. Believe it or not, they will make a lot of kits for other people under different brands. Finally, a team who have stepped up to the World Tour this year, Intermarsh Wanty. They, well, they're looking like 90s X-Men or Fantastic Four characters, I reckon. The kit is a no-no from me. Which is a shame because the team got the guy who designed their multiple awesome looking concept kits from last year to design this year's team kit. I'm guessing he must have had his hands tied on their design choices. That team's also got some questionable sunnies and helmets going on. It looks like they've picked them up from the Fisher Price catalogue. Before we get onto the women's team, let's have a look at a few of the uh, neater and interesting pro continental teams. BB Hotels, well, they're going for it strong with some um, wild sort of graffiti camo kit. Italian team Vini Zabuba, Zuba, Zaba, Zumba. Just like last year, I reckon has one of the nicest kits in the peloton. And well done, lads. You've left them questionable looking KTM bikes behind and gone with Coratec. Spanish squad Cajaru out, out of Pamplona are looking basically a green version of the Israel Startup Nation kit. Right, let's jump over to the women's peloton now. The team that keeps knocking out awesome jerseys year after year have done it again, Canyon Shram. Just looks awesome. Just that little bit different, but a nice refresh. Ali BTC, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the last name of the sponsor. I've got a kit which, um, if you're epileptic, you might not want to look at when they're going fast. Tech Sigafrido, who have just announced that they're upping the minimum wage for the women's team, have yet again put a better kit out for the women than the men. It just looks awesome. What was CCC Live last year, now just Live Racing. I've got a nice floral print, but I've got to say, it looks pretty damn sweet. Something I'd wear for sure. But then again, I like the odd Hawaiian shirt. And finally, SD Works, home of world champion herself, Anna Vandenberg, and have nailed the kit yet again. And I've also got to point out, they've got way better looking specialised bikes than any of the men's specialised bikes. Stop the press. Just as I finish editing the video, EF dropped their kit. What are the chances? Anyway, it is very pink, very um, UCI legal, shall we say, because they have, well exactly stuck to the rules and even printed them on the jersey. I can't help but feel that they're that kid in class who got in trouble previously a few times for doing something wrong and has turned up to class with everything perfectly done, knowing that the teacher's going to check their work and not have a word to say about it. They're going to sit there all smug and well, be pleased with themselves knowing that they've got one over on the teacher. I just wish it was a little bit more Larry. Oh, and I did forget Quebec at Assos. Great looking kit, still doesn't live up to that vertical stripes that they had several years back. But it's all right. The helmets though, a little bit questionable. They do look like they've got like a troll crawling out at events. Let me know in the comments below what you like, what you don't like. Who's looking good? Who's looking terrible? Give us a like, give us a subscribe. And until next week, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding.